Hello friends, <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Kenny the Messy Soper for those of you who do not know me. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, I'm so freaking happy that you're here. Um, what am I doing today? I am going to, I have this idea and I've been thinking about doing this for quite some time. So what you saw me doing earlier, I pour my hot lye water into my solid oils and butters and I'm waiting on those to melt, which they are currently doing. But in the meantime, all these cups, um, if you're new to my channel, you have not saw that video, I will link it to this video if you would like to go watch it after this video. Um, or, well, no, I guess you can't. <laughs> I was about to say, or you can watch it first. Well, really, you can if you want to see what the original look like. But I am going to make my soap that I named Happy. This is when I was in the very beginning of soap making while I'm yammering. I so the colors that we're going to be using today are neons. These neons are perfectly safe for soaps. They are not to be used for cosmetic. These are colorants that are formulated for soap making. So we're going to be using neon purple or purple neon, reformulated neon pink, reformulated neon blue, green neon, orange red neon, and saturn yellow neon majority of these colorants come from tkb trading the other ones are from vendors that are no longer in business so i'm gonna go ahead and put these in here yeah i just i just got this thing where i want to make soaps that i made when i first started out when i was newbie you know <laughs> when i was just getting into soap making things i just want to do a retry to see how they come out this time i mean because i look through my catalog or my videos should i say and I look at all the soaps that I made many moons ago and I've been around for 10 years over 10 years but it just it's just amazing to see how my skill set has changed in soap making my artistic um, experience has changed with soap making opposed to back then now I will say I did a pretty good job back then with this soap um, I think it turned out pretty nice so I don't know if it's gonna to be too much different but we're gonna find out so I'm gonna go ahead and mix these all in and then we're gonna mix you'll see me pour this liquid which is my soft oils into my hard oils that have melted and then in here is my fragrance and it's soaking and some kale and clay um, the fragrance is called Wonderberry is this Wonderberry yeah this is Wonderberry from Aztec. Aztec no longer sells it. Boohoo. I'm very sad about it but I'm going to use it because I got a brand new bottle and it's shocking because you know when I brought it they kind of I don't know. I don't know. But anywho. So um, enjoy the music.
so I am trying to figure out the order in which way I want to pour the colors last time I did white blue pink and so forth so on because I don't remember off the top of my head but um, I think this is a better color order I think I kind of want to let me see no I think this is this is a good order here I don't you probably can't see them all but this is the order we're gonna go with so I'm gonna start pouring off now I'm gonna skip over the neon for a second just so I can weigh it out because I don't know how much I need compared to what's in these other cups and they don't have um, they don't have the markings on the cup for me to see how many ounces it is so I'm gonna weigh this quickly without tearing up anything first all right should have did this prior to me pouring these but what you gonna do I have a good idea Okay, next I'm gonna put some titanium dioxide um, it is a whitener it's basically the same white that you will find in most a lot of your white commercial soaps um, it's a powder I put it in water so I'm gonna add that well <laughs> I'm gonna add that into here as much as I need This is my acrylic mold from Custom Craft Tools. If you see the saran wrap on it, I put this on here because sometimes I don't want to wait until the soap is fully ready to come out the mold. So, and but I still want to use my molds. So I just lined the sides that way. It makes it easy to take it off without damaging my soap before it's time. All right. So I just had a feeling this was going to thicken up a little bit, but it's no worries. It's still workable. So uh, I know this is not the best angle, but this is what I got. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is still workable, definitely still workable. So, I'm gonna pour, um, just line by line. You'll see what I'm gonna do.
Okie doke. So we are done making a big old mess. Now this definitely looks different from the last one I made. Um, I don't know uh what this is gonna if this is gonna be even similar like the top is totally different totally totally different um now some of you may be asking why didn't i just put this inside there because it will get quite muddied if i were to put it in here and i mean i don't want to mix it up i it looks very pretty but once i scrape it out it'll turn like a funky brownish gray and don't nobody want that so this is what we have this was very fluid a lot of the colors were um i think in my last pour the last time I made this soap, um, the colors may have been a, just a hair thicker, all of them. I can't remember. That was like, ooh. Uh, you know what? I'm just out of curiosity. Let me check and see what year that was when I posted that video. All right, never mind. <laughs> I close out the video. I'll just put a like a little message or something, some text there to say what year it was because I don't remember. And like I said, I will link the video so that you can see it. Um, does this top, the colors, make me happy? No. Um, it's just a lot of green on top, but hey, what, what are you going to do? I have more green than anything else. I knew when I poured that, I was like, girl, what you doing? You got way too much, but it's neither here nor there. So I'm going to scrape this down, and then we're going to still go ahead with the original plan and put glitter on top. I want to mix this up so bad, but I know y'all would just probably hurt me if I did that. So I'm not going to do that, but that's what she's looking like. Um, Let me leave it alone. Because I want to scrape these sides down and make it look neater. But I know if I do that, it is going to muddy it. And then I'm going to swirl it because I'm not going to like it. But this is a close-up of what it looks like before I put the glitter on. I know these lights are kind of bright because it makes the soap very shiny. But let me take these gloves off so I can put the glitter on top. Now, I got two different glitters because I used all of my sparkly white mica. Mica, girl, what you talking about? All my sparkly white glitter. Um, so I got this one here, which I feel like is almost fitting with the way the top looks. But then I kind of just want to use this one here. I think this is the way I'm going to go. Let's see how that looks and then we'll decide. Well, I will say that this glitter is not really doing much for it in my opinion. My opinion. But I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, it might. Maybe I'll just use both because I feel like it needs something more, a little bit more sparkly. So we're going to do both. This one is a little bit more chunkier and it's a heavier glitter. So, and this is all bio glitter. So for some of you guys get your panties in a wash. <laughs> and I mean, that is the nicest way possible. I don't know how that is, but I know people are eco conscious and I get it. That's why I have bio eco glitter. See, if you don't think I'm, well, let me, I want to put it on the table. If you don't believe me, I'll show you. I got eco glitter. See that? Silver rainbow eco glitter. So it is environmentally free. So, and that's why it's like a little more denser, a little more chunkier. But um, no worries there. No harms to the fishes. If you guys get that reference, you've been around for a while. So. All right, so here's the top with glitter on it and then hang around because ooh yeah that glitter is glittering i love it hang around because the cutting is going to come up right now oh before i go um if you like this soap so far um go ahead and give me a rainbow emoji i'm gonna ask for another emoji it might even be the same one in the end because i may not remember who knows when it'll be how many days later to be after i mold this but it's gonna be like right now for you so yeah stick around hey guys welcome to the cart of this very fantastic soap here this is my happy soap my remake um like i made this i don't know why i'm reintroducing anything <laughs> You guys literally just watch this video. I tend to do that because I don't cut my soaps until like a week or so later. So I'm just like, hey guys, welcome to my channel. You like, girl, what? I was already here. <laughs> so yeah, this is my happy soap. We're going to go ahead and cut this. I'm just moving some soap over so I can make some room. But I'm excited to see how close did I get to the original on this soap. Love the bright colors on here. It does make me happy. So without further ado, it, oh, it smells so good. Without further ado, let's get this soap cut. I don't want to yak it up. Because I know y'all want to see the inside, and I do too. Okay, 
so very first cut I'm very happy it is very reminiscent of my very first so I think my first one had more white and you can tell like the white thickened up because it's chunkier but I'm not mad that's cute super super cute hope you guys are doing good today I am doing fantastic it's pretty early yeah this is so much fun this one definitely has way more colors than the original um, had in it but I like them both but boy it smells so good I guess for pretty early that's why I have like um, the sexy raspy smoker's voice going on <laughs> I don't smoke just so you know <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's quite early. I said, let me get up, get down here, get a head start on my day. I, lo <laughs> I love these little white splashes. I don't know what they're doing and why they decided to do it, but I'm glad that they did. So cute. But, um, yeah, I think I want to make a couple of soaps today. I'm feeling inspired. So, I want to give a shout out to Luna and the Leaf. I do not watch soap making videos anymore like I used to. I know that sounds terrible. If you guys been around for a very, very long time, you know that I used to be on y'all channels. I mean, I would be all over them. But I just don't, you know, I just don't watch them anymore. And there's no real reason. Just my interests have moved on to other things. But um, I know who a lot of you are. I do. Even though I don't watch uh, YouTube soap making videos, I do know who a lot of you are. And Luna and the Leaf, uh, she came up with the Luna Swirl. That is a magnificent swirl. I'm going to try my hand at it. Um, I don't know when. Maybe today. It is a very tedious process, but the end results are so worth it. So, shout out to her. Go check out her channel. Um, she just does a beautiful, beautiful job. Unlike anything I've ever seen. So, yeah, shout out to her. But, um, yeah, I was just watching her channel this morning just to draw some inspiration because sometimes you know you're just like what do I want to do and me I am very me and my mom was just talking about that like being indecisive Ooh, child, that is something that goes on in our family and I hate it and so does she <laughs> just not being able to make up your mind about what you want to do and that's like been my downfall throughout my whole soap making career is can't decide on what I want to do. I spend a lot of time thinking and all the time I spend thinking I could be making. So sometimes I'll go to Pinterest and look at because I do have a color inspiration board. I mean it's filled with hundreds and hundreds of color inspirations and then sometimes if I'm just not drawing anything from there I'll go to someone else's channel and just watch them make soap because it throws me in the soap making mood. You get my juices flowing or um my sister ibani she's my soap sister uh she is the owner and soap creator of above the bar soapery in the poconos um she and i will get on video chat oh my gosh the mishaps fun and trouble we get into because <laughs> me and that girl we stay on video chat for hours literally doing nothing really just talking and working in our spaces it's like we're in the same room together and then if she's if I'm feeling like I don't really want to do anything but she's over there rocking it out and vice versa we kind of inspire each other to hey you know what you're working I want to work so that's how that works but yeah thank you for your beautiful soaps that you create on Luna and the Leaf so I am feeling inspired like I said I might give a, a go at it um, this one is really really chunky <laughs> Um, I, I do like it, but it is way chunkier than I would expect it to be. But like I said, that white did thicken up, but I'm not mad at it. Cute, right? So yeah, um, if you made it this far in my channel, thank you. Appreciate you so much. From the bottom of my heart, I really do. Um, give me some rainbow emojis. For those of you who are new to this, you don't know why I'm asking. I always ask that people give me emojis because I like them. And also, not everybody want, you know, like to comment or really have anything to say. So you can just quickly pop in an emoji. Just flood my comment section with rainbow emojis. That would be awesome. Thank you very much. Um, that's it for this remake of my happy soap. I don't know what the next one will be. Let's do this. So, um, if you watch my videos, um, 
maybe a soap that stood out to you maybe something was your favorite in the past leave it in the comment section too if i get enough um suggestions for a certain soap or whatever on my video that i previously made i'll do it again so let's do that i think i want to start doing that yeah if you guys let me know uh which soap and you don't even have to watch the video channel just go through my videos look at the thumbnail I'm like oh that looks cool and then say hey i want to see you make this soap again you know if you remember it or if you haven't watched but i'm rattling at this point <laughs> So yeah, if it's a soap that you want to see me make that I've made in the past, but not let's let's not do last year or the year before. Let's do way back when I first started because I want to recreate some of those. But yeah, enough said. Peace out. Love you. Hugs and kisses. Be awesome and amazing at everything you do. See you in the next making video. Bye.